This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now that we've taken a look at some of the basic search capabilities using search engines and search providers, we want to take a look at some of the more advanced search functionality. Now, in some cases, some search engines, this may require you to use keywords like and, or, not, the use of quotations to group together phrases, uh, while other search engines, such as Google, might provide some of that capability for us. We're going to primarily look at Google, just realizing that there are other search engines that are uh, out there. Okay? So let's take a look by opening up Internet Explorer. Open up Internet Explorer and then uh, access the Google web page, just the, the basic classic home here. And you'll notice a link called Advanced Search. Okay, it's next to the, the search box there. And when we click on this, Google essentially walks us through uh, finding exactly what we want. Okay, so all these words or this exact wording or phrase, one or more of these words, and so it's an or query. Uh, now let's, so let's take, for example, chili recipe, uh, and actually that's, I want, oh, excuse me, instead of just all of these words, I want this exact uh, phrase and then one or more of these words. And so then I click an advanced search and I get a hot and spicy chili recipe. Okay, that's hot and spicy. Now, notice what it did and I can actually learn from this. All it did was uh, simply uh, quotations. Okay, uh, let's search for something else. Let's say I got an error message, unauthorized uh, user account. You know, something like that where I enter in the search and I get you know, user account, unauthorized, you know, that kind of thing. Well, actually, I wanted the whole phrase. So, again, you can click on advanced search if you want. You can then put your information in here, but realize that all it's actually going to do is simply put quotes around that. Okay, and so the quotes around that can kind of help you to realize that's all you have to do uh, if you enter another uh, another uh, piece of text, then it's actually going to do an and for you, uh, or excuse me, an or for you. So if you want it, if it has to have all of those words, or if you want it to not have other words, let's say I don't want it to have Linux, you know, um, don't show pages that have any of these unwanted words. So I, I personally, although you can use keywords to do all this, I kind of like using the advanced search um, simply because it allows me to filter out exactly what I'm looking for a little bit better. Let's take, for instance, images. Okay, and so let's we'll search for the use the, for the word flowers. Right, we get some flowers. Uh, we'll do the uh, advanced, say, a lot, a, or related to the exact phrase or related to any any of the words, and it'll be lily. Okay, we'll hit that, and then we'll go back to advanced search. That's got, it's added that and we will say we don't want to uh, relate it, we won't want any words that are related to a, a certain type of, I'm drawing a blank on the type of lily, um, related to florist, okay? And so anyway, the point being that you can kind of filter down exactly what you are uh, looking at. So let me actually pull and see if I can get a, a type, we'll do a color. Okay, there we go. So not related to the word pink. And we'll do a Google search and see. And that did, it didn't eliminate all because we are dealing with images, but that did eliminate some of those initial images uh, that were actually named, uh, that were actually named pink. You know, and so it's, notice it was minus a word. So you can actually learn from this. Again, in the other search engines, they may not have these extra capabilities, but you always have those options with and, or, not, quotes around uh, keywords, the negative or the minus symbol 
Those are all things that you can do uh, to provide you with more advanced search capabilities. As you can see, I mean, anytime we search the internet, it seems like unless we have a really long phrase, we're dealing with uh, thousands and thousands of results. And so in order to whittle those down and get closer to what we need, we may need to use some of these advanced search capabilities.